Hi guys, it's me, Danielle Danny Buttons, and I'm here today with my first ever coloring book review. I saw this book on Jamie's Coloring Loves channel, which I'll link down below, and I had to buy it the second I saw it, and I love it a lot, and here it is, and I want to do a review and flip through for you, and I figured I had to do it soon because I've already colored five pages in here. That's getting to be a lot. So this is Yippee Kawaii Yay, Mandala Magic Volume 1. Um, it is from the Etsy shop Fun Usual Suspects. I obviously will link this down below too. Let's see, there's the, her information. Well, I can't really see my camera as I'm talking. There we go. So again, that will be linked down below. I love it. This was originally called something else, but they had to change it because another company like took the same title. So this is a, the official title and what all future books will be called. Awesome, okay. I've never done one of these reviews, so I don't really know what I'm doing. But I ordered this book. This book is $24, and when I ordered it, it was free shipping. I don't know if that's all the time, but it was when I got it. Um, she sent it out same day that I ordered it. Like three hours later, there was already shipping information, which is pretty ridiculous awesome so it was a very short wait the longest wait was that I had to come cross-country so has 30 pages I first want to talk about just the actual setup of this book because it's pretty great so it is spiral bound at the top this might be my only critique and it's barely one but this is a nice little plastic spiral and as you can see it doesn't touch so in my flipping, I was accidentally undoing the spiraling. So you just have to be careful of that. But that's really not a problem at all. Just watch what you're doing. Make sure you don't start pulling them out. And again, I undid this first hole and I just put it back in. So that's not really a huge deal, is it? Um, it is soft cover book, but this back sheet is actually like a different texture. Obviously, you're not going to be able to see it. But it's very thick and nice and like plasticky almost to keep the book more secure. And there, again, there's more of the information, which I hope you can see even a little bit. I wish I could see my phone as I was recording because what if everything is off center? Okay, so when you open it up, the first thing that you see is this about page. And I think this is really awesome because I don't know if everyone knows the origin of these things. So this is about Kawhi, about mandalas, about this book, about the artist. So I really love this a lot. I thought this was really thoughtful and really cool and you can probably learn something. Um, the next page is a blotting page, which I cut out and so far I used, whew, I'm tripping over my words. So far I've done five pages in here all with Sharpies and obviously nothing has gotten on my blotting page. So this is really nice quality paper, but I do put the blotting page in there just in case. Then she gives you a little test page, which was super fun. Um, I did a whole bunch of different mediums as I hope you can see. So I did Crayola Super Tips, Mild Liners, Prismacolor Pencils, Pit Pens, Sharpies, Color Gel Pens, and Stettler Fine Liners. And I tested those all out to see what would work best. And personally, I like the Sharpie the best. The Pit Pens came in a close second. I've been throwing in some glitter every once in a while. I don't love the color pencils, but obviously I didn't try that hard with them. I just went over it once to see what would happen. So I'm sure if you were better at color pencils and new shading and all that, those could work for you. And then we get right into the actual work. So. Every page, um, she formatted it eight by 10 so that you could easily frame these if you wanted to. So they all have like the dotted line. Each page has a title and each page has an area for color testing or to put your color palette, which I think is super awesome. And I love so many of these themes that I was like, I need this. I hope you can see. I'm gonna try to zoom you in a little bit on just the actual Thing. So remember that that's up there. That is on every page. So you could put a color, um, uh, what's the word, Samuel? Palette up there if you wanted to, or just obviously test as you go. And then here you go. The mandala itself is centered in the middle of the book, 
and I'll tell you all the titles. So this is Breakfast Bonanza. I love it so much. And then we got the first one I finished, Dynamite Doodles. I used my Sharpie and my glitter pens on this one. So hopefully you can see it glittering. Then this is Forecast Fun. Super cute. I keep getting emails to interrupt us. Then we got Going Hog Wild, which is all the little piggies. So cute. Okay. Cute and classy. School supplies. I love school supplies. I've always been obsessed with school supplies. And like that was the best part of summer was getting my school supplies for the next year. So that's that. Fresh and fruity. This is probably my favorite page. And that's why I haven't done it because I'm intimidated because I love fruit themed things. Like I love fruit clothes and fruit decor and fruit pattern, everything. <clears throat> Monster mashup. And as you can see, some of these are simpler. Some of them are more complex. This isn't even that hard, but it's, it's tiny details. Oh, camping cuties. Obviously I did this one. This one I did with my pit pens, my favorite castell pit pens, and it is a little bit streaky. That could just be me not knowing what I'm doing because I'm still relatively new with using markers in general. Um, but obviously the bigger the area, the more likely it is to be streaky. So I personally just try to do it one line at a time. So at least it looks uniform. Um, and I don't know how much you can even tell in the camera. So there's that. Then this is Calling All Candy. And Sweet and Slow, it's a bunch of sloths. Pokey Pals. The Brew Crew, so cute. Uh, Baking Buddies, I really like this one too. Movie Madness. Wow, how many emails am I gonna get in one video? Okay, Crafting Cute. I, I'm so excited for this one because obviously I do a lot of these crafts, like I paint and scrapbook and all this fun stuff. Fast Food Fantasy. Little tacos. Forest Friends, I love bears. Oh, look at the little bats too. And the little bees, so cute. Soy Good Sushi. A Whole Llama Love. Frozen Friends. This one's super cute. This is one of the cover ones. Super cute. Barnyard Beauties. Awesome Automatons. So a whole bunch of robots. And oh, this robot has a balloon. This one's kind of hard to see the details from afar, but it's super cute. Yeah, they're all super cute. Totally trippin', I love this too. I love kawaii style. I just, like the little plane has a face. It's so cute. Bar stars. Great Galaxy. Ready, set, grow. Vegetables. I also love vegetable decor and prints. This is the first one I did, Wonderful Wee Folk. So I also used more glitter, which I hope you can see. Let's see if you can see. Those are glitter. Um, I just did like clear glitter on a lot of it, things like that. Also, I'm realizing that I'm not using my microphone which I always realize way into the video. And so you probably hear me getting closer and farther away from the camera. So that's fun. But yeah, this is the first one I did. I used Sharpies and then I used the glitter. Um, I personally, when I'm doing mandalas, try to only pick about five colors and then repeat them throughout the whole thing to make it seem cohesive. So that's what I did here. I used one, two, three, four. Five. I used seven colors here, which is a little bit more than usual, but I think it still looks okay together. Um, what I ended up doing was I would do this purple and then I would do the glitter in the same color so it didn't look out of place. So like I did clear glitter 
Um, yeah. Ooh, and then this is the most recent one I did, Funny Felines. So I'm not a huge cat person, so I took this opportunity to do something a little crazy. So I used all of my neon pens and I went for it, which I enjoyed that a lot. Um, yeah, it, I just thought it was something different, especially for me, I don't really know how I would have made them different if I did regular cat colors. So I thought this was fun. Friendly face space. And finally, bonus points. Let me tell you, I think that's so funny and cute that bonus points is the last page because it's implying like a bonus page. And yeah, I did a lot of glitter on this guy, which I hope you can see. But again, I did like purple and then purple glitter, gray and gray glitter, blue and blue glitter so that it wouldn't be too overwhelming the amount of colors. Can you see the glitter? Yes, it's there. So yes, I am just, I'm just in love with this book and I hope to keep doing it. And then hopefully she comes out with volume two so I have more to do. Um, the shipping was amazing fast couldn't believe it uh i keep posting these on instagram and tagging her and she has commented on every single one so i told her that i feel like i'm spamming her but she said to keep posting so i plan on doing that but yeah highly recommend this i'm gonna obviously link this below i'm gonna link jamie because that's where i found it and she has done a bunch of these too and they're all amazing she did the fruit page so look out for that on her channel. And you're probably gonna see all these again when I post my wrap up, but I love it. She um, also does, like her Etsy shop has stickers and bookmarks, and she also makes really cute like air plant holders. Um, so definitely check her out in general, because if you like any of these like characters, she probably has a sticker with it. I was real tempted to buy a whole bunch of stickers, but I'm always, I never stick them anywhere because I love them too much. So I'll probably wait and maybe buy one or two that I'll put on my yearly journal. And yeah, so that's, that's that. Hopefully you like this book and purchase it. I will link it, like I said. I hope, like, I have so many ideas for volume two that I hope are in there. Um, so I'm really excited to see what, what's, What's going on with volume two? She says she's working on it. So yes, yes, there we go. There's our blotter page. And obviously you can color in your blotter page too. This paper is really nice quality. Yeah, let me show you the backs of one. So this, like I said, is all Sharpie. And as you can see, it is going through because it's Sharpie, but it's it, barely, it's mostly ghosting. Like it's not enough to get on our blotter page. So I'm very impressed with it. The only thing that is difficult is if you can tell, which I don't know if you're gonna be able to, also now that I'm up close, there's the shadow. Um, the ink itself is almost the tiniest bit shiny, which just makes it hard to take pictures of your finished pages. But obviously that is not a deal breaker at all. I just need to get better at taking pictures is what that means, so yeah. Hopefully. That was an okay review. Again, that was my first time. So if you liked it, let me know. Comment down below, like and subscribe, all those things. And I'll see you very soon with my wrap up. Bye.